Welcome back to another episode of Let Your Kid Play. My name's Emmett Baber, and I'm from a STEM learning center called Fidgets to Widgets. And today I'm going to be telling you why you should let your kid play Portal. Portal is a first-person puzzler. An odd story is told as you play Shell, a human test subject being guided through maze after maze by the nurturing voice of a benevolent artificial intelligence named Gladys who occasionally remarks about the estimated value of your organs. Cake and green counseling will be available at the conclusion of the test. Thank you for helping us help you help us all. Valve is very good at designing games. They introduce you to a mechanic, let you learn the mechanic through play, then build challenges that utilize it. They introduce another new mechanic and let you learn it properly, then mix it with everything else you've learned so far. Move the box and put it on the button. That opens the door to the exit, and you win. Wash, rinse, repeat. Cube and button-based testing remains an important tool for science, even in a dire emergency. If cube and button-based testing caused this emergency, don't worry. The odds of this happening twice are very slim. Then you get the ability to move one end of a wormhole around, and you have to move the box to the button, except the button is high off the ground on a platform. You click and fire out an orb that sticks a portal to the wall, ceiling, or floor you are aiming at, linking it to the stationary one on the wall. You have to navigate pits and towers, all with just one end of a wormhole at your disposal. Grab a box, walk yourself and the box through the portal A you painted to the stationary portal B. Now move portal A so it's on the ceiling of the next room over. This will let you walk into portal B on the wall and fall out of portal A on the ceiling. If it makes your brain hurt, then good, because it's really disorienting at first. This franchise is a constant wave of ponderous silence broken by triumphant ahas. Portal 1 has turrets and rockets, energy balls and sockets. Portal 2 gets various gels, conveyors, lasers, and light bridges. All of these elements get mixed together into fantastic lateral thinking exercises. Portal 2 focused on story and less on reaction time and precision than its predecessor did. If you're new to the franchise and new to games in general, you may want to start with the second game. The light sprinkling of dark humor from the first game gets emphasized much to my glee. Great work! Because this message is pre-recorded, any observations related to your performance are speculation on our part. Please disregard any undeserved compliments. And the sequel weaves the plots of its single and co-op games together. This is a game about lateral thinking, problem solving, and in the two-player co-op in the sequel, it's all about communication. If you liked the video, hit the button and stick around. Uh, most of these games that I'm talking about are also being reviewed and written about on commonsensemedia.org. I'm going to start linking to those in the doobly-doo. Uh, and always, stay curious. There is a framed painting on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. This is art. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, stare at the art. You should now feel mentally reinvigorated. If you suspect staring at art has not provided the required intellectual sustenance, reflect briefly on this classical music. <laughs> <laughs>